Good morning, and welcome to my coffee. So the other day, we were talking about the time when Jesus um, cast the demon out of the boy, and the disciples were like, "Why couldn't we do it?" And he said, "You had such little faith." And but in one of the one of the books in the New Testament, when it retells the story, Jesus said that spirit or that can only come out through prayer. And in some interpretations, it says through prayer and fasting. So that really stuck with me. And I've been thinking about that over the last couple days, about how Jesus's ministry took off after he went into the wilderness, where he spent 40 days in fasting and prayer and getting away from all the noise, all the voices, and just him and the Lord and the devil in the wilderness to seek the Lord, to empty himself completely and learn. And so what, I, what I'm wondering is during that time, if part of the process was that Jesus needed to learn how to recognize the voice of the Father. Because later on when he's doing miracles, he talks about that he only did what he saw the Father in heaven doing. Can we say that? Can we say, I only do what I see the Father doing? I, I see what, he's, what he wants me to do and I do it. I hear him tell me what to do and I do it. And so I just started thinking about, you know, if we started being intentional about getting away from all the noise, leaving our cell phone in one room and going to another room. So it's just us, maybe our Bible, maybe a notebook and the Lord. And of course the enemy can try to distract us. But if we just empty ourselves completely of all the other stuff, and just get with the Lord and learn how to recognize his voice. I can't help but wonder how awesome things might become in our faith journey. And I just started thinking about, you know, if we all started doing that, if we all started taking those steps in our faith journey, how things would change in the church in North America and throughout the world. And so I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to be intentional about setting aside time where you silence everything else and you empty yourself. You know, I have days where by the end of the day, I say, I've got nothing left to offer the world. There, there are lots of days by the end of the evening, that's what I say. I've got nothing left to offer the world. And when we come to God and say, God, I put my best foot forward, but I have nothing left to offer. That's when God says, it's about time. Now, can I do my part? And so when we're so done and we're so empty and we just let the let God come in and use us, that's when great things happen. God does great work. So we need to partner with him so that he, his will can be done here on earth. So today, I encourage you, partner with the Lord, hear his voice, and, and obey it and see what great things he has in store. Have a fantastic day and God bless.